Electric vehicles, EVs, are becoming increasingly popular, touted as a cleaner and more sustainable alternative to gasoline-powered cars. But is this really the case? Despite the hype, significant hurdles remain before EVs can go mainstream. One major challenge is the cost and size of electric motors. Traditional motors in EVs are bulky and heavy, affecting range and efficiency, and are expensive to manufacture, contributing to the higher price tags of EVs compared to gasoline cars. General Motors GM, claims to have developed a novel axial flux motor that could make EVs smaller and cheaper. But how realistic is this? Let's explore. Many companies promise electric roadsters and sports cars, yet they're not hitting the market. Could heavy batteries be the problem? Not entirely. One issue lies with the electric motors. Most EVs use radial flux machines, which are long and barrel-shaped, not ideal for sleek designs. Axial flux motors, on the other hand, are flatter and more compact, like a Frisbee. But can they really pack a punch? Instead of the magnetic force traveling perpendicular to the axis, it runs parallel, allowing for a different shape. Axial flux motors have a history dating back to the 1800s with Michael Faraday. Tim Woolmer's work reignited interest with his development of the yokeless and segmented armature axial flux motor. In 2009, Woolmer founded YSA, leading to significant industry advancements and YSA's acquisition by Mercedes-Benz in 2021. Yet, mass production has been tricky. Can GM finally change this? Radial flux motors, shaped like donuts with a coiled wire stator around a central rotor, are efficient but bulky. Axial flux motors, however, offer a more compact design by having the magnetic force flow parallel to the spin, like a record player. Can this really revolutionize EVs, especially sporty ones? Building these flatter motors has been challenging, but companies like GM are making strides with innovations like mechanical field weakening. This concept, similar to a car's automatic transmission, adjusts the motor's operation for better efficiency at higher speeds. But is it a game-changer for compact and affordable EVs? Consider your own data security for a moment. Has your personal information ever been exposed in a data breach? Data brokers sell our info to scammers daily, leading to issues with social media, bank accounts, and more. Aura Today's sponsor helps protect your data by submitting opt-out requests and monitoring your accounts. AT&T recently revealed a breach of 73 million customer records, emphasizing the importance of strong passwords and monitoring accounts. Aura handles all of this, keeping your data secure. Start a 14-day trial at aura.com slash altiumtech. Returning to our main topic, how does mechanical field weakening work? Think of it as adjusting the distance between an engine and wheels in a traditional car. In an electric motor, changing the distance between the stator and rotor adjusts torque and speed. This simpler, more intuitive method can enhance efficiency without relying solely on electronic controls. But is it truly the solution? Mechanical field weakening in axial flux motors involves challenges like maintaining the air gap between the discs while they exert strong magnetic forces. GM proposes a hydraulic system to adjust the gap, potentially leading to more efficient, smaller, and lighter motors. Is this the future of EVs? The concept of a system operating like a continuously variable transmission, CVT, for EV motors is intriguing. However, this technology might not be available soon. The next generation of EVs will likely focus on advanced batteries and improving radial flux motors. But with companies like GM investing in axial flux technology, its potential cannot be ignored. What do you think? Are axial flux motors the key to the future of electric vehicles? Let us know in the comments.